A couple years ago, when you were first hired by the Chargers, we're sitting here, I'm making a joke to you about how stoked you must be coming to Southern California from Minnesota. I know it's raining outside today, so that's why we're doing this inside, but how happy are you that this is home now, that you're oh, staying on the staff? Oh, definitely excited and thrilled, but definitely blessed you know, for the opportunity to be here. You know, obviously very fortunate for the Spanos family to uh, bring us back and believe in us and support us. And then obviously with uh, Coach Harbaugh and uh, you know Ed and keeping us here, uh, we're definitely excited. But yeah, I remember we're just right outside here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it was, you know, beautiful sunny day and now we're indoors. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, we'll take it. Yeah. All right, working with Jim Harbaugh so far, how has that been going? Oh, it's been great. I mean, just, you know, learning from him and this guy has, obviously he's been successful everywhere he's been and that's what I'm excited to, you know, learn and, you know, learn this operation and the process and his philosophy and how he does things and just being able to work, you know, underneath him and learn and see if we can go ahead and win a lot of football games and uh, bring a championship here. So when you first started with this special teams unit to where it is now, where have you seen the most growth? Uh, I think the most growth has been with the players. You know, I just love the way they walk around right now with a sense of pride that, you know, they've, they've done some good things. Now, obviously, ultimately, we haven't accomplished our goal, which is winning a lot of ball games and, and uh, winning that championship. But, uh, you know, I think they're excited and they've been, you know, very proud of what they've accomplished and then being able to put two years together uh, back to back. But at the end of the day, it really doesn't mean anything, uh, you know, especially moving forward. We have a clean slate. We got to make sure, you know, we got that foundation, but we got to continue to improve and get better. So when I had asked you when we sat outside just a couple of years ago, how you find continuity on special teams, you told me it really starts just at the point of the operation, whether it's the snapping, the hold, the kicking, the punting, whatever that may be. You now have this tree with JK, with Josh, and with Cameron Dicker. What is the synergy like between those three to get those operations really running and, and having that continuity? I kind of call it the big four, and that's in uh, Darius Davis, too. Okay. You know, yeah, so well, the return, but we we'll get to him, to him yeah, in, but a, in a little bit. You're, no, you're you. exactly right, but uh, you know, those three have been great. And I think and one of the biggest things which I brought up to them at the end of the year was that I love that they have a really you know great foundation in faith you know I think that's the biggest thing you know for our units uh, you know I think they do a great job with that but uh, you know Josh being the leader you know we fought hard to get him here you know when he came free when he was available and uh, we we're excited for that opportunity to get him here and told him the first day is like we want you to be the leader not just for the units for our special teams units but we want you to be the captain of our football team and you know he was able to do that last year and he did a great job and his value for us is you know immeasurable but uh, you know being able to bring him and then JK Scott uh, what he was able to do even though he didn't play in 2021 mm -hmm. but then kind of revitalized his career he did a he does a great job and you know very excited for him you know for what he does here and for this uh, this team and it's not just what he does on the field but it's also in the locker room with these guys and then uh, obviously Dicker you know he's he's great to be around I mean I see all these short videos and everything my name is Cameron Dicker and I'll kick for you <laughs> I love the way he approaches the game I mean he's He's obviously, it seems like he's been in the league for 10 years, the way he approaches the game and nothing phases him. And it doesn't matter if he just made a big kick to, you know, if there was unfortunate miss, but this guy, he moves on to the next kick if it's the kickoff and, and he's ready to go ahead and attack, you know, his next kick. And so I, I feel i am been blessed to be around these guys and um, not just those guys, but also the, the core players as well. It has to feel good because that has to be stressful on game days, right? When guys are lining up to either punt, you know, make a kick, they make they make it easy for, yeah, for me, exactly. but uh, I'm probably more uh, you know more stressed than they are. But because those guys go out there, they know exactly. Hey, they're like, hey, we got it, we're good. Mm -hmm. So they do a great job, and again, they make our job a lot easier. And just very fortunate to be around them. When you talk about Dicker, that sort of old soul sort of coolness that he has. Did you have to coach that in him, or did he just come in here and you're like, all right, dude? No, I think we're, we're, I think those those that know me, they would be laughing if I, they said uh, I coached that. But no, he <laughs> he's his own guy. But he that's what makes him so great at what he does and his mentality his makeup you know I love his personality and the way he goes about his business I mean this this guy attacks his job and he's very serious about his job but he just gives off that you know a that cool cucumber approach and just you know that's what I think makes him so good too because he doesn't allow he doesn't go up in low, highs and lows with his game I mean he's just steady Eddie and and um, you know it's very consistent on, on what he does. Dicker's been sensational this year. It is through. Dicker with 10 yards to spare. All right, Darius Davis, we teased this earlier. You're a pro in this veteran media business here. What impressed you the most about what he did last season? Uh, the thing I think that sticks out the most is the way he became a pro early on. You know, he came in here just learning how to track punts with his mechanics, situational football 
just him learning and understanding the situations I thought was very impressive for me for a young returner and the way he bought in so quickly. Like I joked with him, I mean, he would call me on a, on a Tuesday or text me on a Tuesday when they're not in the building and just be like, hey, I like this return or I like this or, you know, so it just shows that he was, you know, watching the tape and, you know, he's really putting in the time, you know, which I love because that's the big thing going back to your previous question too, is the fact that these guys, they actually had a sense of pride, but they have accountability and ownership in this. And that's what I want it to be because it's their units. It's not our unit, it's their unit. And we got to make sure, uh, you know, they do a great job. And they, and so that's what Darius has done. I mean, he's bought in and he's just become that big pro that we're, we've been asking for. And, and I think he's just going to have, continue to have that success, you know, down the road because of the guys that are surrounding, you know, around him in terms of protecting and blocking and everything. And just love being around him. What is it like when a player starts asking you the questions that you would kind of technically want them to ask where you know something's clicking and something's working up there? You know, I, I mean, it's it's relieving because then it's like, all right, they, they kind of get it a little bit. It's reassuring knowing that, you know, the way they're thinking about it. And that's a growth process. And a lot of times they're going to come up with questions that maybe we haven't heard of because we're not in that spot playing on the field and playing. And that's why I'll learn from those guys as much as, you know, they learn from us. But, you know, that's why I want to make sure there's that accountability or that ownership where it's like, hey, I bring suggestions or have ideas. These players, they bring it to us. And we're not afraid to go ahead and use some of those ideas too because, you know, sometimes they have great ideas. And then lastly, Fick, we've seen this group get incrementally better year after year. Where can they go now in 2024? I think we can continue to improve, you know, playing situational football. Um, I don't think we've even reached to where I think we can go ahead and help this team win a lot of games. Obviously, we only won, you know, a handful of games last year, but we need to go ahead and make sure we can improve the field position for our offense, making those short fields, making the, the long fields for our defense, uh, you know, in these games and winning the situational complimentary football battle that we have in each game. And ultimately hoping that, you know, that, that helps us with the outcomes of the games and winning these games and, you know, ultimately winning uh, the division and the uh, Super Bowl. Awesome. Happy to have uh, you back. Uh, I appreciate it. Thank you.